We are live. What's up, everybody? So I am Glenn, and this is the Six Digit Club Microblading Career Webinar. And today I've got with me Master Claire, the world's Hi. best master. Oh my God, Master Claire is here. And so we've also got a very special guest for you today. And we brought on our newest Six Digit Club member. And you're going to learn what that means in just a second. So Lauren Lake Petrich is with us today. Lauren, say what's up to everybody. Hi, how are you guys? All right, so Lauren is located in California and she has a brow studio today with 16 microblading artists, okay? Wait. She went from zero, I'm sorry? Oh, I was gonna say, uh, correction, we have 16 artists total, eight brow artists. Eight brow artists, excuse me. Yes. So you so guys do other stuff there, like hair and yes. got it. Got it, yep. perfect. Okay, so if you're, if you're watching this webinar and you would like to know how Lauren went from zero to a brow, well, let's call it her, her salon, her studio that has eight uh, microblading artists. Six. Did, she said eight, I thought. Did you say eight or six? I, I, have, I have eight brow artists and 16 oh. total artists. Claire, Claire's <laughs> just in the habit of correcting me, okay? Even well, when I'm right, she has to correct me. <laughs> Let me explain though. California is it's like, a you don't understand, Lauren. It's like a reflex. <laughs> it's like Glenn says something and then there has to be a correction. <laughs> it's okay. It's instant. Our brains, we just, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, but anyway, so for you I watching this. I was thinking six. Eight is a lot still. Eight yeah, is a it lot. It is a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Mentors. So. Um, so it, it, I just want to mention so for, for those of you who are watching and. Um, <laughs> you're like, wow, how on earth did she do that and become so successful with microblading? Which, by the way, today, just sum up for us real quick, how many microblade, new, new microblading procedures do you do per week and how much do you charge? Okay, so I do, uh, I try not to do more than four, sometimes five a week. Uh, I charge five fifty dollars per session for microblading session with the touch-up. Uh, and then for... Uh, Microblading for session touch up with a shading add on that's 650. Mm -hmm. And how many of your uh, microblading clients actually take you up on the, sh on the manual shading or the whichever form of shading you do that's in addition to the microblading procedure? Uh, I would say about 60 to 70 percent of them. Okay, nice. so, so more than 50 percent of your clients that do microblading choose the $650 option, which includes shading. Yes. which is a combo a technique. Okay. So it's mm -hmm. fair to say that on average you're, you're, ch you're charging more than 600 because if we're averaging all of the ones that do 550 and all of the ones that are 650. Mm -hmm. So let's do yeah. a little arithmetic 600 times you say, four. I can do it. The Ready? Claire's going to do this for us now. Okay. Wait, Claire, here we go. You want, you're live on the webinar. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> We're in the single digits, everybody, okay? Claire. Everybody knows how horrible I am with the math. That's why. Maybe she didn't know. <laughs> no, I don't do that either. You know what? I might have said six now that I think about it. I don't know. So. Oh, no. No, no you're, you're vindicating her. She said she might have said six. <laughs> we got to stick together. We, we girls got to stick together. I'm married too. I know. I know how it is. Oh, well, that's just girls ganging up on me. All right. But <laughs> anyway, um, but you're charging on average about 600 plus or minus for uh on average for your microblading procedures and you said you do minimum four sometimes five per week is that right depending on the holiday season could be up to six and seven. Oh you know. wow okay but let's just put it at an average of five let's yeah. just say average five mm -hmm. okay so if it's average five and she's charging 600 yeah. how much weekly revenue is that Okay, so this is how I would do it. 600 plus 600 is 1,200. Yes. And 1,200 plus 1,200 is 2,400. Yes. Another 600 is 3,000. You know what, folks? She got to the right number, and it didn't take all that long. I thought she was going to count on her fingers, but <laughs> she's got some weird technique. How did you figure that out? That's how I learned. That's the only way I could do a little bit of math. Wow. Not much. That's but. actually not a bad way to learn. Did you learn that from teaching Daniel how to do multiplication? Or no, I can't do anything oh, with Daniel. Okay. I tried to do the homework one time and it was wrong. And he came home <laughs> and says, Mommy, you got it wrong. And, and I was so super embarrassed. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, poor kid. <laughs> oh, but well, you know what she can wrong. do, Lauren? She can, she, can, she can do microblading and she can teach she microblading. Teach. 
And for you watching at home, if you cannot do math, <laughs> if you can't do math, you can do Ralph. You'd be very successful at microblading. Yeah, that's yes, okay. yes, you can. All right, so just real quick before we get into your story, because uh, everyone is, who's watching this is probably wondering, oh my goodness, how did Lauren become so successful? And she's making six figures and, and made it to this six digit club, which we're going to tell you about in a second. And, and with all these artists working for you, six or eight, whatever it is, um, how did you do it? Eight. And we're going to eight, eight, eight. Okay, so we're going to answer that question for you. But before <laughs> we do, just real quick. Um, if you have questions and you're registered to the webinar, you can actually type your questions into the chat and um, our staff are standing by or we're going to try to answer those questions as we go. Um, we would greatly appreciate it. If you get a lot of value from what we're going to share with you here, please, if you're on share, Facebook, if you're watching share. it on YouTube, please like this video. Comment on this video. Any questions you have, if you're watching on one of those platforms, you can comment on the video. And share. And we're, we're going to get back to you. And then please, yes, share this video. <laughs> I um, will even, uh, can, can I do this? Um, I saw sure. Leslie do a giveaway for her share. Can I do that? Sure. 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 That's you, why I feel like I'm Leslie. Because yeah. <laughs> anytime Leslie. she does live, She's like, share, share, share this. Share, this. You know, share, share the love. <laughs> if you can tag me on Facebook in your share, I will raffle off a $100 Visa gift card. I promise you. Whoa. Out of my pocket. Out of my pocket. <laughs> Whoa. Of my pocket. Whoa. Rich, but I will do it. She's, do it. She, she's, she's doing backstrokes in, in $100 bills. With no, this no, my, you know, Here's the thing. Marketing should what be three percent of your of your gross earnings total? Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. So do it. We're doing All right. it. It's an it's an investment. All right. So to be clear, here's here's the giveaway that Lauren is offering. Uh -huh. If you share this video and you it's tag me, her, so I know. You, yes, well, you, you've you got to tag Lauren. If it's on Facebook, you've got to tag her on Facebook, and we'll put your your Facebook link in right. the caption to this. Um, and if it's um, on YouTube. You've got to tag her in a comment uh, to her Instagram, let's say, okay? And we'll put both of those links in the, in the Facebook as well as in the uh, YouTube caption. And then we're going to do a... And then, and, and yeah, and we'll, 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 do it, we'll do a random drawing, okay? We'll help you do That's that random cool. drawing. And yeah. the winner will be selected, let's say, um, two, mm -hmm. let's say Tuesday of next week, okay? Tuesday okay. of next week, so that'll be the, uh, what is okay. that? What is Tuesday of next week? The 29th. That'll be the 29th, I think. Yeah, it'll be the 29th. So we'll, we'll announce it on Facebook. And what we'll even. That four days? That's like four days, right? Yeah, it's a couple is of days enough? for them to do it. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, believe me, there'll be plenty of shares. Don't Woo! worry about it. I, I assure you. <laughs> like, I'm just you want to make 100 bucks? $100. Who knows, man? It's only four days. I'm <laughs> mailing watching this, and there's only like three people that share it. Yes. You know, You're maybe it's you. It's 100 bucks. <laughs> so, all right. So, anyway, um, what else did I want to mention? Okay. That, that I, I don't have any makeup on. Oh, Claire doesn't have any makeup on. You I don't know, know what? if you guys I noticed. I was here, and then I had a facial today, this morning, and then I did, like, two clients, and then I came to say hello to him, and he goes, oh, why don't you just stay? You know, we're doing the webinar. It'd be nice. And I'm like, sure. And I'm, like, thinking, uh, I don't have any makeup on. And he goes, you look like you have makeup on. I'm like, yeah. That's that's right. That's all permanent. Oh my gosh. My lips and my eyeliner. You see? Oh, great. And then yeah, my I, eyebrows. I just signed up for the lips and eyeliner course with, with the Thorsten and Kirsten. Thorsten. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Nice. So let, let's just quickly show everybody some of your work because if they're watching this for the first time, they might be someone who's interested in getting certified in microblading, right? And you're wondering like, okay, who is this Glenn and Claire and Lauren just going crazy on this webinar? Let's show you what we're talking about here, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen. And the first thing that I'm gonna show you is some of Lauren's work. So here's Lauren's Instagram. And if you wanna follow Lauren, um, it's at Lauren Lake Petrich. And we'll put that uh, link in the uh, caption to this uh, video on social media, okay? But here she is on Instagram, and this is the kind of work that she does, that we're talking about, that she charges on average anywhere from $550 to $650. So this is just purely microblading, correct? Yes, looks like it. All right. Uh, microblading. Okay, so for those of you watching, you just to make sure that they understand what they're looking at, you can see here, this is the before picture, 
And then here's the after picture after the microblading procedure where you can see microbladed manual tattooed hairs uh, or strokes as we mm -hmm. call them into the eyebrow giving the 3D effect or the illusion that you've just got the perfect brows, okay? So, and that was a very recent, that's very recent work that you did, correct? This is, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think this was of like last week maybe. This was after a touch up. Um, she and decided- this, has, this does look like have shading. She did add shading. Um, she, even though she's blonde, a lot of my guests prefer to have that makeup makeup look, the powdered makeup look, Correct. without losing the, the definition of the strokes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's nice. one nice. of my things to do. And so, it's very, very popular in our area to have that groomed, that shaded look. This is over an, an this was an annual touch up. So, what I actually really liked about this photo was how well her brows faded. It had almost been a year and a half. Mm -hmm. um, I think one of pe one of people's biggest hesitations with microblading is, oh my gosh, is it going to look like I have like, you know, a full tattoo or, you know, how long is it going to last? And it's like, oh, I love microblading because, you know, it can look great if you keep it touched up and yeah. if, if you want to let it go, you can let it go, you know? Yeah. Well, here's a nice one. Mm, nice, nice. So this had, yeah, she, she, had a, she had a bad permanent makeup. She won a raffle. <laughs> she told me she won a raffle um, for a free microblading session um, like two years ago. This was when wow. it was just popular in our area. And, you know, Oy. so stuff happens. Yeah. So the moral of the story the is don't get microblading <laughs> from <laughs> <through> a raffle. <laughs> Well, I still do microblading giveaways. I like it because it's my opportunity to meet people who I think I would normally never be able to afford or pay for. Right. Do you do pay with a smile? I do. I do giveaways all the time. That's I love nice. it. That's right. Really nice. Um, and it's it's honestly my joy. I always leave the service feeling like I'm on cloud nine because they don't you know owe me anything, and I get to I give them something. You know. I'm good at that one. This is a nice one. Very yeah, you nice. Can, you can really see the strokes very yeah, clearly here. Yeah, because she here. didn't have a lot of hair. What's cool about this, for someone who's watching and you're like looking into microblading for the first time, you're thinking about doing this as a career, and you see this and it looks really cool, this is a great example of how natural microblading can, can look because, yeah, because you, you almost can't nice tell strokes. the difference in the, the real hairs and the microbladed hairs, the microbladed yeah, strokes. Very nice. I just want to say, first off, that I am just humbled and floored. I never thought that Claire would be sitting, like, examining my work when I put up this photo. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was like, this is like, uh, it's kind of like scary, but also cool at the same time, you know? Because as an artist, yeah, this girl sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, it's funny because, you know, we talk about talent and discipline, and it's like some people have to have a lot of discipline to get mediocre or decent. And some people just come out of the gate with tons of talent, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm a firm believer yeah. that discipline will always, always conquer in the end, you know? Were you um, very talented? No. <laughs> no, I was not very talented. <laughs> you can look at some of my, you know, my previous. Well, but before we look at old work, okay. who, who's, who's this guy and these little kids? <laughs> oh okay, so you're going to make me cry. Um, <laughs> Glad. I didn't mean to make her cry. Ah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. This is my family. Um, so this picture was the picture that I tagged Claire in. Um, yeah. And I sent that it to her. That made me cry, actually. <laughs> Your message, I swear to God, was like, I was like crying. And I called Glenn right away. I um I tagged Claire in this photo just because I felt like this was a mon monumentous mo occasion for us, and I wanted to share it with people who I was grateful for um, that had helped us in our journey. And Claire was definitely one of them. And this was my husband's first day back in the master's program, um, getting his master's in education. These are our three beautiful children. Mm -hmm. And um, prior to this, he was working over full time. Uh, if you rewind two years, he's working over full time. Yeah, you can kind of briefly read the story there. Um, but you can see, I see the, the words anger, confusion, worthlessness. Like that was after we hit this wall where we realized 
We're living in our parents' basement. We can't afford a home. I, he can't work any more physically possible. I'm pregnant with our second child. Like I couldn't work more. I was working out of my house doing hair. Um, I had plateaued as an artist with hair and that was it. That was, We felt like we'd hit our ceiling and we we're looking for an open door. And I just, I tell, I swear to God, it was a gift from God. Like I saw, you know, an advertisement for microblading online with Claire and I <laughs> jumped at it. I just was like, we literally, our life savings, I think was like $2,500. That's like all we had, you know, and we just spent the 1800 on the course. Yes. Well, the rest oh my God. Of bed. I needed to buy a light. I needed wow. to buy tools, you know, and it was like all of it. Like we literally were like all in like this better work because this is like, our, this is like if a car breaks down fun, this is our, like if our kids get sick fund, you know? So, um, yeah. You know, what's yeah. also really cool, honestly, like a lot of people attack us in social media Oh, how do you teach online? That's ridiculous. You don't like, like they attack us. So mm -hmm. here is a very good example, right? I mean, mm -hmm. come on. You took online I, course. You didn't even come. I never met you. I am the type of person that I need to, I need to have the time at home where I can break it down by myself and digest it. Because if you put me in a day course or two day course, it literally flies by and I retain nothing. I retain nothing. Like it's so difficult for me to, to learn in a group setting. Right. But you know what? This is why we really have an amazing program, Lauren, mm -hmm. because our hands-on training is two days, which yep. also some people start like, you know, going crazy. It's, you can't learn into, you can't, you mm -hmm. cannot learn microblading in two days for sure. A hundred and ten percent. But yep. that's why you need the online course to support it. And then, you know, the six months online and, uh, you know, mentorship, that's where you really learn, yep. you know, but I still believe, you know, if you don't have any experience, I mean, it is a nice thing to do, take a hands-on training. It is nice. Um, maybe you'll come for like more like an advanced course now. I do want to actually, my husband and I were talking about that not even a few days ago, but, yeah. um, you know, and it depends on the learning type. I understand that having a shop with different types of artists and how they learn, you know, right. that, um, learning is sometimes uh, just, it depends on them. Do they need hands-on or do they prefer to be alone at home? Exactly. You know? And that's exactly what I say. Some people need to be shown, yep. you know, hands-on. I, Glenn, I get messages and it's so crazy. Oh, how do I do this? You know, I'm like, well, you signed up for an online course. I'm not, you know, gonna show you how I can't I mean this is online you have to watch the videos and you have to read everything yep. but if you're like me with the ADD that you can't read and you mm -hmm. can't watch you don't have attention for that I have to go for somebody to show me exactly how mm -hmm. to do then I could do the online after because mm -hmm. I know what I'm supposed to do <clears throat> but if you're just online then you have to do everything by right. yourself mm -hmm. you know I mean I help I, I tell you know but I, I, you know, I get pe people saying to me, oh, uh, wh what am I supposed to do for this level? And I'm like, uh, you know, it, all the level instructions are there. You just have to read it and you have to watch the videos. I mean, and I and tell them, if you can't do that, then you got to come to a live course. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like I was very much on our... Um, world microblading forums. I was, you know, reaching out to my peers. I had an uh, artist who actually works here uh, who entered the course shortly after I did. Her name is Sammy Tao, also on Instagram. And she uh, was, I think, one of those who was naturally talented, like right out the gate. Um, and then also coupled with... Vietnamese <laughs> people are like naturally talented. It's the crazy thing. But she coupled that with a lot of hard work. So she had both discipline and artistry. And I think as a teammate, um, she was able to help push me as an artist. That's and so I nice. That is so nice to hear. You know what I say? Yeah. In my courses, the first thing I say, don't look at each other as competitors. Mm -hmm. You will grow more and learn more if you look at each other as colleagues and then you just grow together. You know, you there's know, enough I eyebrows for everyone. I agree. I heard Bronco, didn't he say one time, if it's good for microblading, it's good for me. You know what I mean? 
Mm-hmm. And I took that and I ran with it. And I was like, all right, we need community. We need to network together. We need to push. Yes. Each other. Yes. And it was, I think that's part of what make has made our artists, our, um, our home here at the beauty artisan so successful is because that we rely on that sense of community and that togetherness. So, well, with, with, with that point in mind, I want to ask you about how you went from the basement to the success that you're having. But before yeah, we do, let's hear it. Before we do, just real quick, I want to I want to mention something that I thought was kind of funny. Your husband has like the most amazing mustache I've ever seen. And so uh, he totally reminds me of this podcast that I oh listened to, which is called the Art of Manliness <laughs> podcast. So here's your husband. They must have, I don't know, they must have got a hold of him somehow. That, that, that's and perfect, they took a exactly. photograph and they made a caricature of him. Yeah, and he became the logo for yeah, the Art of Manliness yeah, podcast. Your husband, so there he is. Did the you go back to my Instagram far enough in, for like five years when my daughter was first born, my oldest right there, you'll see a picture of him almost exactly like that. Oh, really? Oh, that's yeah. so funny. With his dukes up like this? Yes, I know. <laughs> But it's like almost ideal. It's almost identical. I thought the guy who does that podcast looks like that. That's not the case. No, no. Then they need my husband to do it. Contact That's, me. We'll do it. Yeah, That's we need, right. Yes. He needs to be a, a guest in that. Oh, those are mm. eyelashes. Yeah, those are. Mm, we're looking for June 9th. So I want to oh. go back to your first, your first microbladed brow. Right That's it? Yep. Okay. Now, also, before we. Yeah, I'm going to mm. click on this. We're going to take a look at this in a second. But before we do, just for anyone who's watching, if, if you're like, you're watching this and this kind of resonates with you and you're thinking like, wow, I might, I might want to do this. Even if you're thinking you might, with a question mark, you might want to do this. The best thing for you to do, honestly, is to talk to our staff. Our staff is super friendly. Yeah. No pressure. Well, most of them Sometimes. are super friendly. <laughs> We're a little sarcastic, okay? But um, seriously, um, I encourage you to go to the link that I'm going to leave in the caption here somewhere, which is our website, microbladingacademyusa.com forward slash consultation, okay? Right there, you can very easily just put in your information and uh, our, our staff will be very happy to get back in touch with you and they'll answer any questions that you have, no pressure, just an easy, friendly conversation, and we'll see if a career in microblading is for you, okay? So I just want to mention that real quick. Uh, let's get away from the art of manliness. We don't need that anymore. But let me show, <laughs> let me show everybody your, let's start the conversation about how you made this happen from your first microbladed brow, because we know that you were in a bad spot. Yes. You had two kids, I think you said, with one on the way. We, we had just had our second at this time. Oh, you had just had your second. You're in your parents' basement. Your mm-hmm. husband had to quit his... It quit. No, I don't think he quit at that point. He, he had to quit going to school. He quit he going to school. And work at the same time. He couldn't do both. Because oh. ju- just, just a, a quick um, foreshadowing, he ended up quitting his job to yes. be able to support you 100% in, the, in this business, right? Yep. Amazing. Yeah, he doesn't work. Yeah, he's a, a nice man. man. Partner, Where is he? Time. Put him on the podcast. He's I want amazing. to see him. I can't brag about him enough. He's amazing. <laughs> All let, right. me, let me see your mus- that big mustache. That mustache. She wants to see that mustache. In real life. She wants to see the mustache. And go like this. Like this. Like this. Well, so, when you're in California, we'll take you out to dinner. How about that? Yeah. Perfect. All right. We'll take you up on that. Now, yeah. so let's kind of rewind for a second. So you, you found the course with Claire online. You signed up for the online course. And then as you go through the I online, <laughs> right, invested like almost to the last of your life savings, you committed yourself to this. You burned the boats and you said, we're going, we're going to do this. What? Yep. Okay. And so when you do it, just so everybody knows, it's the online course, it's 11, it's 11 levels. Mm-hmm. Okay. And as you go through these levels, you learn the building blocks of how to do microblading, starting with making uh, the, the, the shape and how to make the head of the brow and then the tail and all the strokes and all of this wow. until, yeah, very good. Yeah, I sound like I know what I'm talking Master about. Right? Rose, yeah. Glenn Rosenberg. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> You're in this business long enough. You start to absorb these things. <clears throat> so anyway, by the time you get to the 11th level, you actually take all of that practice, which you do on practice skin with our tools that we, cause we send you a kit that's worth $1,200 and 
you have either in this case master claire or glenn uh, or well no i'm not the one <laughs> coaching you but master claire Thank would teach God. you or master leslie ritchie would be teaching you <laughs> and when you get so you get six months to go through this online course and as you get to the end you take everything that you're you, that you've done master claire or master leslie would tell you that you're ready now to work then they actually like authorize you to go to the next step the final step which is to actually work on a live model, model. and so when you do that live model, you submit your work to your master instructor, like Lauren did. And when you get, you know, when your instructor says, all right, you've done it, it's, you've reached the standard. You Click passed. on it already. Here you go. Gee. That's what this is. That's what you're looking at right now. So this is her first microbladed model. Okay. This is probably my seventh model or 10th model. But this was my passing model. Excuse me, her passing Which model. Which is a great thing here because I tell you, Lauren, people get really annoyed with me if they don't pass like, <clears throat> like by the third model. And I'm like, you know what? We have to keep a very good name and we have to keep a standard. A standard, yeah. So if it's not fitting the standard, I mean, I'm not horrible. I really am not. I mean, I understand that this is just the first basic level going into the art, like it's art, it's called the artist level, but I can't like pass people when they're like, you know, ruining people's faces, you know? The first brow I ever happen a lot, honestly. It doesn't, it really doesn't. It happens very rarely. Because the education is solid. Yeah, it's really good, but then you'll have sometimes people that are like really lost cause, like there is well, no way that, you know. I was a lost cause. <laughs> I thought at first I submitted, I submit my first brow to you. I was so nervous, Claire. I had forgotten like a complete set of lower strokes, like just not even <laughs> what I was I like, remember. I, was, I remember being so excited to send it to you. And you were like, this is great. But, uh, and I was like mortified. I was like, Oh my gosh, she probably thinks I'm terrible. I'm never going to pass and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I think I took like a three week hiatus just to nurse my emotional wounds. And then I like, was like, oh, I got to serious. And then, you know, boom, 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 right after that. So wow. listen, you know what? Have you ever seen my work? Uh-uh. You're, you're, when I first started, you wouldn't even believe it. Oh my gosh. My 10th work. This was like my hundredth work. Oh no. Maybe even more. I swear to God, I was not talented at all. The point being is that anyone can anyone, do this. Yeah, you could. But see, you have mm -hmm. um, a, a drive. You have a drive that you just go and you you got to do it. There is no if or, or but, you know, and I'm, I'm like that too. If I put something in my head, I'm just going to go and do it, right. you know? So that's why you did it. And I tell this also in life courses, I tell, you know, I don't like lazy people. If you're just lazy, then it's not going to happen. But mm -hmm. otherwise, it's going to happen. Whether it happens in the second time, I mean, like your friend, she probably got it in one time, right? She's amazing. Yeah. But exactly. But not everybody is the same. And it's okay. Some but, people have to practice mm -hmm. three times. Some people have to practice 150 times. So the moral of the story is, the moral of it's the not story the talent, is, it's, it's the work ethic. Correct. It's your commitment yes. to it's making this commitment. happen. Yeah, 100%. Claire, 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 Claire says in her, ready for this? Claire says in her live, in her live videos, in her live classes, that uh, if a monkey want to learn microblading, I could... I don't say that anymore. Yes, she life. says it like, if, <laughs> if a monkey want to learn microblading, I can teach a monkey microblading, but the monkey wanna, must want to learn microblading. Something like yes. that. Yes. Did I, I get it right? That. I don't the, monkey, the monkey, the monkey, the monkey, the monkey got to want to learn microblading. Okay, let me say it. I could teach a monkey how to do microblading, but the monkey needs to want to do it. That's what I used to say. Yep. You say it in much more proper English today than you used to say it. It was well, a lot I'm funnier getting, when you used to say it. My English with is missing better. a few, you know, connection words. Anyway, no, I think it's exotic. I like I like her dialect, her English language dialect. Yeah, the mon the monkey gotta want to do it. Yes, it's Something exotic, like right? <laughs> like like you, a monkey like you. A monkey like me. I'm the monkey, and I, but I want to do it. I want to <laughs> do, do it. Do it, Glenn. I want to do it. <laughs> so tell us real quick. Give us the five minute version here as we finish this up. How did you go from that first microbladed brow 
to six, 16 total artists and six or eight microblading brow artists. How did you do it? Um, okay, how did we do it in the five minute version? Uh, lots and lots of hard work, lots and lots of practice, lots of commitment. Um, sometimes I made boo-boos and mistakes and I had to swallow my pride and, you know, and sometimes I came out victorious, but, um, I mean, do you want to know like the practical steps that I took? Yeah. Yeah. yeah but give it, give us the abbreviated version, but go through the steps. Like where we, okay. where did you start practicing? Were you, how did you get a place to work? How did you do it? I was Okay. So I was still at home, um, in the basement. I probably did like seven models. Um, and I was like, I might had a guilty conscience because I'm like Miss Integrity, like do everything right, you know, blah, blah, blah. And at that time I hadn't even passed my course and I was like, I need to get a studio. Um, so I rented a studio. It was just me. And I was like, okay, if I just do one model a week, that will pay for my studio and I can still do hair at home if I want to, you know, and that was my goal. Just do one a week. And, um, I finally, you know, passed my course, but I was very, uh, this was one of my techniques. I was very secretive in my education. I didn't want, um, people to know. And this is why, cause I did, I knew my work wasn't going to be great starting out and I didn't want to embarrass myself. Um, so I, what I did was I verbally networked with my already clientele base that I had when I was doing hair or with friends and family or, you know aunts and uncles, blah, 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 those kind of people. So I like low key, uh, networked to get models in at very cheap prices, sometimes 50 or a hundred dollars. Um, just depending your first few and models, then, though, that's you're, smart. I, I want to know your first few models. Did you charge at all? Oh, no. well, my fir very first model. I did not charge or actually probably my first three models. I did not charge. Uh, and then I think I went to $50 for a few. And then I probably went to a hundred for a few after that. But I think before I even got my certification, I was already charging three hundred dollars, um, maybe for a service because I felt like I need to make this work. I had just gotten a studio, and I wanted to pay for the overhead. You know, at least if I could come out even, that would be worth and it. And that stu that studio that you got, how much did it cost per month? Per month, it was it broken down per week. I think it was two. Oh, it was one of those salon suite ones. Salon suite. Mm -hmm. So it was two, uh, 25, I think a week. Um, mm -hmm. and so I was like, I think I just got a, a month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Um, and mind you, we're still in the basement. We just had saved, went through our life savings. So it was do or die, you know, but I kind of like that aspect, especially in this industry, because it, it forces you to put some skin in the game. You know, it forces you to be accountable. It forces you to work your business and to make smart choices. And so, um, I, I think I got certified right after I moved in and that's when I announced to the world, like I am a microblading artist and it was like this sense of achievement. And so I did a live video of me microblading and I actually, uh, did a, a share giveaway on Facebook with the same thing, a hundred dollar visa gift card. And I think it was shared over that's five charm. times. Now five you have to hire another three microblading artists. I know. So it was shared, uh, a ridiculous amount of times. Um, and I, that's how the, I got the buzz going and I was boom, 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 boom. After that, like I just had to thank God I had, um, the background to, to understand how to service a guest. Um, but I know you, you do, you do the walkthrough service online, right? What is that? The mock service? What, what do you mean? Walkthrough the business building skills, the video, Oh, oh, our oh. test drive, our microblading career test drive product. The test drive. Yes. So, um, but I was just servicing guests and, um, and then I was, you know, asking for referrals and I was giving credits to people. I would say, okay, I'd split up their costs. So if they did, um, $300 at their first session, and then I would charge them $100 at the touch up, I'd say, hey, if you send me three guests, I'll give you a free touch up. Free. Very good. And so, um, and that's how the, it expanded. And then I would Love utilize it. players in my community to other hairstylists or, personal trainers or people who also service the same market that I wanted to be in, I uh, would ask them if I could do their brows for free <laughs> and I would. And they, sometimes they had 5,000 followers on Instagram or whatever, and they would promote me and then I'd get more guests out of that. So those are just a few things that I did, but uh, we cl quickly grew from one room to three rooms, uh, salon suites side by side. This was in a matter of years. 
I'm sorry, of not even years. It was months. 11 months, 11 months, not even that mm. eight months. Uh, we went to three salon suites. Then we had three microblading artists and several hair star- hairstylists. And we still had people coming to us that wanted to work alongside of us. Any and of them my students? I'm just curious. I don't think I have any of your students. Um, but Sam is our other fee, fee brows artist. And I, I don't remember who her master was. Um, but like I said, just exceptional work. And for a long time, I was very exclusive. I was like, you have to be a fee brows artist <laughs> to, <laughs> to be here, you know? And, um, but then I realized that that's not fair. And everybody's trying to, everybody's just trying to, you know, do their craft and do it well. So, but I'm very encouraged about the course because of course I love fee brows. So, um, but yeah, I think it was in January of 2018, we then were at max capacity in our three rooms. We were looking at a fourth salon suite and the overhead was just outrageous. We were paying like $9. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. And uh, the owner wouldn't negotiate with us. So I was like, it's time for a new location. We looked around town, came up on the spot that we're on now. Um, if you go to our Instagram, you can see. Are you in Orange County? Where are you? We're in the Inland Empire. So we're close to Temecula. Where is that? Wine country. Oh my gosh, you've never been to wine country? That's Northern California. Ah, yeah. it's no, Northern North. California. It's right, right in between San Diego and LA. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's not North. That's no. South. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Temecula Wine Country. That's where we're, the area that we're in. In mm-hmm. fact, I had guests fly in from Seattle, from Arizona. I just had a guest fly in from Alaska. Wow. They come see me and she, and they stay and go to Temecula wine country and then they fly home and that's very good. That's what they do. So Microblading <laughs> tourism. I know. <laughs> that's added very the- good. That's wild. Amazing. So, and so you got, so you, you found your, your new place and you have your own physical location now and you have 16 yes. total artists in there, including yourself. Yes including myself. So, so you guys do like nails and everything? We do. There's all kinds of services, lash lifts, um, lash extensions, hair services, nice. body waxing. So it's the whole shebang. Facials, everything. Mm-hmm, all of it. Yeah. Well, that's so, incredible. Yeah. So we have 16 artists. Um, and then I, it's an unbelievable story. This she, she, she was on her going down to her last dollars. I spent my last dollars. I had no more. So I had a lot no of risk with two, was unbelievable. With two very young when, children. When she wrote this message to me, I read it again. I'm like, 16? I'm like, what? I can give you a tour. Do you want to see the place? Yeah. Sure. I think there's people working, but I'll show you. They'll love it. They would love it. Okay. I, I got this message and I started like crying and I'm like, oh my God, because it was really, it really, oh my gosh. you want to meet the man, the myth, the legend. Okay. First off, yes. here's, here's our styling area. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Wow. Nice. So, oh, look at these vaulted ceilings though. Oh my gosh. I beautiful. love it. That's so cool. So, they're all quiet. I scared him. Scared us. My husband has Hi, to everybody. Die. We love Here's your mustache. My, look at, Thank you. And my salon manager, Desiree, she's getting her hair done her right now. Her. I need but hair color. I need Cameron. It. Nice. Hi. So, and then here, I don't know if you guys can see this out here. So oh, we have beautiful a beautiful patio for our guests who like are getting their anesthetic or, you know, if they have to sit for any reason. Beautiful. And then we have our two practicing rooms. Um, two more. <gasps> this is Elena. Elena is a microblading Hi, artist. <clears throat> so another treatment room. And then we have one treatment room in here. So we have three treatment rooms total. Wow. Nice. Really nice. So, and then we share days or we don't share days. We uh, split days. So each renter, you know, rents for a certain day or what, whatnot, but Mm-hmm. Great. I love the fact that it's a little house. Yeah. It is a house. It is a house. We, yes, <laughs> we renovated it. So, um, but here's what I want to stress yeah. though is community. I feel like this is what I love with the fee browse culture. Um, is that I was instantly added to, you know, the world group beauty forums and, and fair and Claire's online beauty forums. And it's like, I felt like I did a lot of my learning through just watching those processes, asking questions, being, right. you know, and it's like, I think 
when people ask me all the time, I get messages all the time. I think I want to learn how to do microblading, blah, 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 blah. Of course they know that I'm going to tell them to go to Feebrows, but it's like legitimately I would not have gotten this support for as long as I did anywhere else. Like I, I guarantee you it's just, mm -hmm. it's part of, you know? So, but yes. Amazing nice. story. We're very happy to hear your amazing yeah, story. Yeah, really proud of you. Good job. Yeah. Well, you're inspiring a lot of people today. And I guarantee you, so many people are going to watch this and they're going to be like... And they're going to share it. They're, they're, they're going to be able to... Your story. They're going to connect to this and they might be in a similar position like how you were when you got started. And they may, they may, they may not be. They might be in a different position, but they can, mm -hmm. they can see the potential to go, to grab a hold of this thing and to change their lives. Anybody yeah. can do this. I think my favorite uh, part of this journey though, uh, outside of yes, it's offered us financial stability. Yes. My husband has been able to, uh, to quit his job. Yes. We were able to achieve life dreams. We bought a house. We opened a shop. You know, I think my favorite though is um, the ability that I get to impact other people's lives. The, the, the ability to connect with people one-on-one -on -one. Mm -hmm. like even the renters that I have here, but even, you know, my guests, the time that I get to spend with them. I mean, if you think about how many industries you actually get to touch another human being, like that is, that's unreal, you know? And it's like, that's a high honor and a high calling. And it's, um, I think just been one of the biggest blessings in my life just to be with my people. You know? It's so. really amazing. You know, everybody calls me a little angel. That's what they call yeah. me. They call me the fairy brow mother. There you go. The fairy brow mother. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm curious, how, how has your life changed from when you started to today? As far as like your, your, your lifestyle, your, your choices, your freedom, your options are available to you. Like what, what has happened? She goes so, and has uh, $40 meals now. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, actually my, I are still in a tight budget because we are trying I'm to save our next joking. location. No, I'm just kidding. But we really want to save to buy our next location. So we're like, nice. We're where, very, where do you want it? We we're thinking in wine country, uh, Temecula in old town, Temecula somewhere mm -hmm. around there. But that's like a three, five year plan. Maybe sooner. I don't know. We'll see. So, um, how has my life changed? Well, pretty significantly. Um, there was a time not, sh not too far before we spent our last dollars that I was not, didn't not have my own car. <laughs> we were living in my parents' basement. Um, and my husband was working 60 to 70 hours a week. And he was, also what did going he do? To what did he do? He was a retail manager for a, a home improvement warehouse. So he was a, um, an assistant store manager. So he was like gone the craziest hours mm -hmm. and then trying to complete his master's um at the same simultaneously was absolutely impossible and i remember the moment when um he decided not to go back to school and it was almost and it was um it, he came home and he said you know i just don't feel like i've attached to our newborn son and i feel like i don't know him at all and i was like okay something's got to give you know and um, he just didn't go back to school and we didn't talk about it because I felt like it was maybe a little too painful, you know? And, um, and I just knew then that it was my responsibility. Like I had to do something and I had to do it quick and I had to do it really well. And, um, and that's, you know, when I found microblading in Claire. <laughs> so, um, but how's our life changed? You know, I was able to, uh, not even six months after I was, uh, Okay, so I was certified in June. We were able to buy a house in July. We moved what? in July. Yes, yes. I am not kidding. If you look at my Instagram, the dates of every the way everything happens, we were. Wow. I got. A, I was certified. I bought a house, and it was like exponential growth. My husband and I joke that we do five year goals in one year. <laughs> so That's and unbelievable. Then, it was unbelievable. I bought him a car right after that. I bought him a brand new Chevy Silverado, um, <laughs> drove it off the lot, like was able to come home and gift my husband who was so hardworking and just, uh, so committed to us. And, um, I was like, that's, that was like my love present to him, you know, as gratitude for him trusting me. You guys are so cute. 
<laughs> and then, um, you know, after that, I became pregnant, and the whole 2018, I spent being- have another one now. She's making all this money. She can afford another four kids. Yeah. <laughs> and then by that time, she's going to put the first girl into microblading. That's right. And you better learn. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, and then in 2018, I was pregnant. We opened a salon. Um, oh, my gosh. You know, and then the end of 2018, December, he quit his job. Um, and was finally like, I'm going to school full time. We did the budget. We realized this is more than possible. And, you know, we've, I've basically taken the money that, that, that money that I've made with microblading and I reinvested it and reinvested it and reinvested it. And now it's, you know, we have the, the shop to help um, support financially and we have my income to help support financially. And so essentially I'm still a dual income household, but my husband is a full time, loving, engaged parent and a full time student. And it is just his dream to be a teacher. And so now he gets to do that. So. Wow. Dreams come true. true. Yep. Amen to that. Just amazing. Wow. All right. So look, we, we could go on all day with this. This is incredible. Your story is really amazing. Uh, I just Very want to remind amazing. anybody who's watching, if, if you're, you know, moved by this, if, if you're thinking about doing something with this, um, click the link that's in the caption. You can go to microbladingacademyusa.com forward slash consultation. Uh, complete the form. Our staff will get in touch with you or you can just call us. Friendly. You'll see the, our friendly staff. Our friendly staff, yeah. yeah. We'll get in touch with you and um, then you'll have me as your instructor. And uh, <laughs> I also want to mention that, uh, oh yes, and let's not forget this giveaway. So oh, yeah. Lauren oh. offered an amazing, amazing giveaway. And so this is straight from Lauren right. Petrich, okay? This is not from yeah. us. This is from Lauren, right? <laughs> she, she, yeah, she, yeah she, she's, 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 she's going to bless you guys. So whoever wants <laughs> to participate, participate in this, um, if you share this video and uh, you put a comment and you tag her in the comment uh, and you, you mention her in your comment and you, you, I guess, yeah, you mention her in the comment then um, she's going to be giving away a $100 gift card. And we're going to do it next Tuesday. Did we say Tuesday? We said Tuesday, yeah. right? So that'll so be 29th, the 29th. 29th. The 29th of January. January. All right? Are we going to live webinar that one too or no? Yeah, we'll we figure something out. We'll, 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 we'll something. Yeah, we'll do Facebook Live. Facebook Live. We'll do Facebook Live, okay? So um, we'll announce that on our Facebook, uh, on our Academy Facebook page. And uh, that's it. So, Lauren, thank you so much for participating. We're thank super you. proud of you. It's so amazing. You, you've transformed your life. You're inspiring people. You're inspiring yourself. You're inspiring us. And uh, it's exciting to have you on here. I'm so glad that you reached out to Claire. Thank you. Me too. I'm just, I'm blessed. I'm humbled. I'm honored. All of it. I just, um, I'm so excited. You guys have really, really changed my life. So, Oh. Oh, makes us feel good. So glad to hear That's that. That's what we want to do. Yeah. Can't wait to see where you're going to go with this in the next year or two. Should be very exciting. Keep in touch with us. We're going to bring you back on the podcast yes. next yes. time and we'll talk about yeah. what's going on. All right. Okay. All right. Adios, everybody. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye.